This is gonna be exciting. Oh, my sock just fell off. This is gonna be exciting to test out. So just like every other person on the internet and YouTuber right now that likes camping a little bit, I bought myself a diesel heater. So this is the Viver model. It's an all-in-one model, $152 on Amazon Canadian. It's a hard to beat price. Here's a fuel tank. You put diesel in the fuel tank. There's a fuel pump that uh, will squirt uh, diesel into this little combustion chamber that's in here. There's a glow plug or an ignition source that will spark the diesel up. The diesel will combust, create heat, which there's a little fan that blows all the heat out this way. And you have a heat source. And it's a super simple option because all you need is that plus a little bit of diesel and a battery. This is a 35 amp hour AGM battery. Now there are a million videos on YouTube about these diesel heaters. And while I kind of play with this and mess around with this, I wanna turn it on and, and see all its functions. But I thought, let's see if this could warm my house. So behind me, if you're new to this channel, this is my home. It's technically a townhouse in a condo building. It has a downstairs. There's my bedroom bathroom down there. Kitchen's up there. And as far as you can see, that's where it ends. And I can almost touch the side walls. This condo building, townhouse, home is 760 square feet. This diesel heater says that it can warm 161 square feet to 215 square feet. So obviously I'm out of the range of, uh, of square footage that this can handle, but it's kind of cool to see if it can like provide some warmth. It also sips diesel. So per hour it's gonna burn 0.2 to 0.6 of a liter, um, which there's a five liter tank inside and that'll last you all night, right? So guys, this is actually the next morning. Um, the reason I wanted to do it early in the morning is because it's quite cold outside right now. And uh, when I was filming yesterday, it wasn't as cold, so it'd be kind of hard to gauge if it was the diesel heater warming my place up or just ambient temperatures. So this morning for about an hour, I've had the front door open, the back door open. Um, I've been bringing all the cold air in. It's, I wanna say about nine degrees Celsius outside and my thermometer says it's about 16 inside. So usually when I don't have any heat on in, the, in my home, it's about 18 degrees. And then when I do turn the heat on, it gets up to about 20, maybe 21 degrees. This is what I've got set up here. So this is just a little piece of plexiglass. I've got my ducting coming in here. And then out here, I've got the diesel heater. I filled it up with fuel. This is my exhaust. This is my intake connected to my battery and I have a multimeter to test what the draw is. Oh, there you go. You can kind of smell some diesel coming out of the exhaust. There's also a muffler that goes on here. I just didn't attach it. Oh yeah. This is awesome. That is hot. So you can do two things with these. You can either run them inside and then exhaust and and uh, put the intake outside, or you can put the whole machine outside and just duct the heat inside, which I'll definitely be doing, especially when I'm, I've got the minivan and all that. I'll just set up like a little picnic table, just like I have outside. Put everything on it, put the duct through the window, and then I don't have to worry about the exhaust. So before I burn my entire place down, I. Uh, should probably put something under there. <laughs> yes, I forgot. Exhaust get hot. That's better. I'm surprised they don't exhaust it out the side. But I guess it is cheaper and these are usually used for vehicles where it is good to exhaust them down. So it's been about 15 minutes and uh, I've checked just a couple times to make sure everything's okay. And in this general area, I can actually feel it starts to get cold about here or cool, cooler, this general area is nice and warm. So it's already heated this entire space, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, and then when you put your hand up here, you know what it feels like if you uh, have ever uh, used a blow dryer? Put the blow dryer on medium with high heat. 
That's what that feels like. I just turned a fan on in my room, in my bedroom down there. So it should suck the air down there. And then of course I've still got the fan up there. And uh, the temperature went up one degree, but that's probably just ambient. That's probably just, you know, these walls hold, uh, hold warmth. And I am in a condo building, but. Uh, so I was trying to figure out how to do an amp draw on this thing and I can't figure it out. I think you actually need like a, I don't know, I don't know. But I, so then I YouTubed it and basically this model, when it fires up, it's gonna be using about 12 amps. And then when it's running on high, which it's running right now, it's gonna be using about five amps an hour. And then, but once it gets to temperature and you're just, you're just keeping a temperature consistent and the fan speed dies down, it's gonna be at about one amp. So my 35 amp hour battery should be good for a couple nights, depending on how cold it gets, but it doesn't get too cold here. So I think I'm good for two or three nights, which I don't think I'd be camping for any longer than that. We can stop the test right now. It, it actually worked. It's 20 degrees Celsius. I can feel the warmth. And it hasn't even been two hours, maybe almost two hours, not even an hour and a half. Look at that guys, 21 degrees up here. So the heat obviously travels up. It's coming in the living room. The fans pushing it around. It's coming up here. It is warmer in my kitchen than it is in my living room. My bedroom's still a little bit cold, but I am super impressed with this diesel heater. Can it warm a house? Yes. If it was really cold outside, I think this may struggle. That might be another video if it ever gets cold enough in Victoria. However, really impressed with this diesel heater. I'm gonna be taking it on a camping trip in a week. I'll probably make another video or show it, or showcase it in a couple videos, but uh, I'm gonna be going up to Lake Couch and enjoying a couple days out in the woods and just nice campsite, go fishing, go for a little hike, just get out of the city. So I will see you guys there. I've got a couple other uh, limousine videos on their way and uh, very cool test. There we go, we've answered it. Keep living that dream, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye.